Hi guys, today we are about to learn a basic but very useful trick in Webflow. To change the cursor to a custom image using custom codes, I will explain the structure of the code and how you can use it. Let's get started. Before we start, let's see what we have here. We want to change the cursor to a custom image of an emoji when we hover over the gradient text. I have created a very simple layout inside Webflow to show you the trick. The layout consists of a default navigation bar module and a wrapper which wraps the content of the hero section. It contains a heading and also an image. The element that changes the cursor image is inside a span. But let's learn how to write the custom code to change the cursor. Since the code we use is just using CSS to change the cursor image, we use the first box. We need to assign a class name to the element. We use custom cursor class name and do the following things. We want to tell our browser to change the cursor to a custom image. Just write down cursor as an attribute for our class name. We want to tell browser where it looks for the custom image. So we use our own. We just need to copy and paste the image link here. The code is ready. Also, you can get the code from my Patreon page. Don't forget to add the class name we created here to the gradient text. For the custom cursor image, make sure you use a very small image and keep it smaller than 6464 pixels. We copy the link of our custom image and paste it inside the page settings. Then we are good to go. Make sure you paste the link between the quotation marks. Publish the code to see the changes. The shaky behavior of the cursor is because of the recording app I use. I still need to find a better app. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Make sure you follow me on Patreon for more tips and getting access to the codes.